The game Fallout 4 has a dizzying number of weapons for the player to find and modify in their efforts to recover their son and bring peace to the Commonwealth. Eventually, the player will be tossing aside weapons as they find bigger and better tools of destruction. So it's inevitable that other weapons will rise to the top in terms of how destructive and useful they are in combat. This makes sense in game with an RPG structure that is meant to provide players with a sense of satisfaction as they improve their efficiency in combat and become more powerful over time. With more powerful weapons, enemies that pose a threat can turn into mincemeat in no time at all, which can be pretty satisfying for obvious reasons. Hello friends and welcome back to Game Rant. I'm Casey, and these are the 10 most powerful weapons in Fallout 4. At number 10, we've got Adam's Judgment. Kicking off our list is this monstrous weapon possessed by the Children of Adam. Adam's Judgment is a massive sledgehammer that deals a terrifying 315 damage with 787 radiation damage over time. This is possible thanks to the cracked fusion cores the cult is strapped to the head of the hammer. A few swings should end just about anything, and whoever manages to survive will quickly succumb to the radiation now flowing through their body. Even if players don't plan on using this hammer themselves, having a companion wielding this weapon makes for a terrifying ally. It's easily one of the best weapons in Fallout 4. At number 9, we've got Sito's Shiny Slugger. This unique baseball bat is found in the Nuka World DLC after players help rescue the family of a character named Sito. He'll give them this bat as a reward for their efforts. As far as melee weapons go, this is the best weapon in Fallout 4. Sito's Shiny Slugger can do 94 damage. It also has the relentless effect on it, causing critical hits to refill the player's AP so they can do more targeted damage even quicker. There are lots of different upgrades that players can put on this this bat as well. And the Nuka World DLC also allows players to paint the bat and make it weighted, which does even more damage. At number 8, we've got the Admiral's Friend. The DLC Far Harbor introduced a number of unique concepts, and harpoon guns like Admiral's Friends are by far the most interesting. Admiral's Friend deals a whopping 300 damage, which thanks to a perk, doubles to 600 if the opponent is at full health. Admittedly, the fire rate is abysmal, but for stealthy characters, taking that 600 damage and adding a stealth multiplier on top can deal astronomical levels of damage. If your target is still walking after that first hit, then they almost deserve to live. At number 7, we've got the Splatter Cannon. This deceptively named weapon is great for mid-range encounters. Found in Nuka World, it deals 49 damage and has an excellent fire rate. What makes it shine is the perk that deals increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. If players can make every hit count, then their damage output will skyrocket very quickly as stronger and stronger bullets pummel into their enemies. However, it can be pretty easy to miss shots in Fallout 4 with enemies moving about wildly, so it's important to either close the distance or be extremely accurate at longer ranges to trigger the extra damage afforded by this weapon. At number 6, we've got the Problem Solver. This weapon is similar to the Splatter Cannon, but with a much better range at the cost of initial damage. The first bullet deals 21 damage, but with a perk that increases damage 15% for each consecutive hit, it'll quickly add up. Because it's a ranged weapon, players can get some far range shots at enemies before closing the distance. It's easy to see that players who get their hands on the problem solver will have a weapon capable of dishing out impressive damage, assuming their shots hit the target of course. Some players actually prefer the slower fire rate as there's less chance of one of the bullets missing and resetting the damage stack. At number 5, we've got the Nuka Nuke Launcher. Arguably the most powerful weapon in the game is the Nuka Nuke Launcher, found in Nuka World. It's essentially a fat man that's been modified to hurl modded nukes known as Nuka Nukes at foes. These Nuka Nukes deal a whopping 833 damage at a decent range from the enemy. This thing is absolutely useless in close quarters, so players will want something like the Adam's Judgment for those encounters. However, mid-range enemies will be absolutely obliterated on an atomic level. In a world devastated by nuclear holocaust and radioactive fallout, it's only fitting that a mini nuke launcher would be the strongest weapon in the wastes. At number 4, we've got Experiment 18A. A unique weapon that is extremely powerful, players should never let Experiment 18A go. It's an automatic plasma rifle that fires so many shots in one go that it can genuinely be hard to keep track of. Ammo is bound to be a scarcity with this gun, given how much energy it absolutely eats through in a single firefight. 
There's a reason why so many people love this weapon. It's extremely satisfying to see most enemies turn into ash with a few shots. As long as players maintain a healthy store of ammo and don't whip this weapon out for every encounter, they'll be more than happy with what Experiment 18A brings to the table. At number 3, we've got the Overseer's Guardian. Not only is the Overseer's Guardian one of the most powerful weapons in the game, but it can be obtained really early on. Players who know what they're doing can easily power through the game's enemies with little to no issue. The two-shot ability of this gun completely obliterates the health bar of most enemies in the game, which makes it pretty satisfying to use. The gun also uses a form of ammo that is pretty common, meaning that players won't have to worry about ammo either. The Soul Survivor can easily pick off enemies from a distance with this powerful and easily accessible sniper rifle before using close range weapons to deal with any stragglers who manage to avoid their shots and close the distance to the player. At number 2, we've got the never-ending double barrel shotgun. The double barrel shotgun is one of the most damaging weapons in the entire game. However, the time it takes to reload after every shot might prove to be quite annoying. This issue is negated with the never-ending double barrel shotgun. It's a truly ridiculous weapon that will keep on firing without any reloads until the player runs out of ammo, making it a behemoth in any gunfight. That being said, players should keep in mind that this weapon is a double-edged sword in many ways. While pumping most enemies full of lead without any restrictions may sound like a great idea, it's always a good idea to keep a few backup weapons handy. This is because most players will absolutely burn through their ammo if they use this weapon frivolously. The ideal way to use the never-ending double barrel shotgun is to reserve it for tough firefights in close quarters so that players don't run out of valuable ammo at a time when they really need the extra firepower of this amazing legendary weapon. And taking our spot at number 1, the Wounding Combat Shotgun. The Combat Shotgun is a pretty great weapon in its own right and is considered by many to be one of the best shotguns in the entire game. However, the Wounding variant kicks it up a whole new level. With this effect, each pellet of a shot from the Combat Shotgun stacks up to affect the enemy with bleed. This means that a single shot is enough to send most enemies to an early grave, making it the best weapon in Fallout 4. Players who get this weapon can easily use it all the way to the very end, with most bosses being downed in a few shots. Combat in Fallout 4 does get progressively easier over time, but the sheer manner in which the Wounding Combat Shotgun completely trivializes most encounters in the game should be experienced firsthand for players who want the wildest power fantasies to become a reality. And there you have it folks, the 10 most powerful weapons in Fallout 4. Let us know in the comments which are some of the weapons that you like using and which ones that you think are the most powerful. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, be sure to visit GameRant.com for more top-notch gaming content. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care for now.